Joe, you might remember us officially adopting Formula One superstar Lando Norris to our This Morning family. He's ours. Yeah. Yeah, so um, he was a little confused. Naturally, we are very proud parents. When uh, when he finished uh, on the podium yesterday at the uh, Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Well, following the brilliant result, he joins us this morning. Good morning to you and congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning. Well done, um... son. We're very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> we should say that. It's our edit it was our editor's instant you know sort of sudden uh, desire said right that's it tell him yeah. he's adopted anyway so if we're following through on that obviously I'm a, a massive F1 fan uh, well yeah. done yesterday third place incredible yeah. um, considering the start of his at the beginning of the season it was not happening for you guys was it uh, no far from it in fact so it's been pretty amazing uh, from where we were in the first race of the season. Um, we came in with very high expectations, as, as every team should and, and does. But um, we underachieved by quite a huge amount and we had a pretty poor weekend. So um, I genuinely didn't think that at almost any point this year I'd be standing on the podium. But already in the fourth race of the season, I'm on the podium. That's so it's been, uh, it's been amazing. And um, I mean, you can see in this video, it's actually <laughs> I'm quite embarrassed in this video. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it. amazing feeling to, to be back on it. Well, I we mean, know... the rain played quite a big part, didn't it, at the weekend? As a driver, when, when you sort of, it rains like that, how do you feel about it? Um, you can be up and down about it. Like, honestly, it's conditions I've enjoyed driving my whole life, you know, especially growing up in England, um, you know, in go-karts and so on. You're used to the rain, you're used to this kind of weather. So I guess I, I grew up in it, and it's something I enjoy well because I also tend to do well when it rains and you have these kind of mixed conditions and actually the race we had this year was almost identical to last year we started on the wet tires um it dried out the track dried out we had to change onto the slick dry tires and um it was almost an identical race and i managed to be on the on the podium again so it's difficult it's tricky it's a lot a lot harder than maybe what it looks from the outside, yeah, but it right. is—it's uh, very enjoyable. Well, especially when you see the, the sort of helmet cam from inside uh, yeah. the, the cars, and you realise what it is that a driver can see in those sort of conditions. Um, mm -hmm. That we know that uh, that the F1 in any team, it is a massive team effort. What is yeah. it? What is it that you guys have have done, and have you been involved in getting that car from where you weren't at the beginning of the season to third place? Uh, I mean, apart from me and myself and the impact um, of my, my driving, I think, uh, no, I think everything put together makes a difference in Formula 1. It's, it's not solely one thing. Um, but, but hard work and, and teamwork is almost at the, the forefront of all of it. And uh, obviously, after how the first race weekend went, there was a lot of, you know, a bit of scratching the heads and trying to understand what's happened mm. and then putting a plan in place of, of how we can overcome the problems we've had and how we can start to make good progress. And already over the last you know, three weeks and since the first race, so in race two and three, we saw some steps forward. And a bit of that is obviously um, uh, an effect of, of me. You know, I'm the one driving the car. I'm the one saying the car needs to be better here and in this area and so on. And it'll be the same for Daniel. You know, we both have very similar comments. Mm. We give these comments to the, the aerodynamicists, the guys who build and make up and, and come up with the ideas for the car and um, they've been tweaking things and making the car quicker basically mm. and, and that's been been showing and uh, I guess probably showed most of all this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, uh, Danny didn't have such a, a, a brilliant race uh, yesterday, um, so sort of conditions and cars and yeah. crashes. Uh, but as far as uh, you guys are concerned now, looking forward to Miami, that's the next one. Uh, how are you feeling about that? Excited. Um, who wouldn't be excited to go to Miami and race in Formula One? So um, I look forward to it. I've never really been there to, you know, I mean, I'm not going to go there and explore and get to walk around too much. But um, just to have a Formula One race there, I think is pretty amazing. It was sold out pretty much instantly. Uh, there's obviously going to be a lot of stars and celebrities and, and so on. So I think it's just going to be an amazing event. Uh, hopefully it's lovely weather and a bit nicer than it was in in Italy this weekend, yeah, just gone. It can't be hard. Uh, that that um, yeah. race is on the 8th of May, so we'll book you in now for the 9th of May to have a chat. <laughs> there's no doubt you'll be back up Perfect. there on the podium again. Listen, son, I mean, you know, <laughs> don't, stay, don't stay out too late. Make sure you keep in contact. The WhatsApps have we been absolutely useless. We don't know where you are. <laughs> we don't know what you're up to. So just look after yourself. 
Thank you very much. I miss you and I'll see you soon. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. I was, I was absolutely thrilled for well that done, third yeah, on, uh, on Sunday, so well done. Bye-bye. See you next time.